So inside the C64 you have the SID chip, and that's a sound interface device. What goes into this is one megahertz in clock. You know, we talk about a lot of clocks when we're doing digital electronics. And then it has some control signals in, so it has a data bus that, and an address bus which selects registers in it. So, you know, you program different registers which program these phase accumulators. Now these phase accumulators, the way they work inside the SID is, if I remember off the top of my head, they're 23 bits or 24 bits. They're, they're a bunch of registers these D flip-flops, like I was showing in the last example, they're a storage element, and they get updated once every one megahertz tick. So the one megahertz clock goes into these. And then hooked to that is an adder that feeds this. And then its output gets fed back into the adder. It's called a, um, what it's built up as is a phase accumulator. And then you have a constant, which is pro a programmable register that the CPU can set. So it can program this register, it's another s bunch of storage elements, so each one megahertz tick you get a new value loaded in there. And then you take the upper bits of this, the upper eight bits, you peel those off and you run those to an analog, a digital to analog converter which converts the binary value into an analog value over time. So if you have a constant increase in this this phase accumulator you'll end up it'll start approaching to the point where it becomes all ones and if you look at the output of this it'll look like a sawtooth it'll reach a start at zero it'll go all the way up to um, the maximum that it can count to and then it'll drop right back to zero up so that's how you generate the sawtooth wave and uh, by changing this constant in here you can make this more steep. You know, if this is a bigger number getting added to it, it's going to reach its maximum faster. So you're going to end up with a much faster um, overflow when this this counter or phase accumulator overflows. Now you can do some other shaping to this to cause it to um, become triangle waves, for instance, instead of a sawtooth. So if you take the most significant bit, so when it's approaching half the halfway point, so it's starting on its way up, and then the most significant bit, bit 23, becomes 1, you run it through an XOR gate, which inverts, and that's one of these functions we'll get into a little bit later, but it, it, makes, it makes it look like the output. So if you put an XOR, a series of XOR gates, on the output of this, and you tie the most significant bit into it, you'll end up, it'll look like it's counting down and you'll end up with a triangle wave, which is very close to a sine wave. It's a very soft sound. Sawtooth is you know, a little sharper, has some more higher frequencies in it. So that's the basic of how the phase accumulator works.